So, you wanna own this place, not a problem. You can create this map from the diffuse, original, or normal map. The current map is on the left, the adjustments are on the right. The slider controls how much of each you see. The defaults are usually fine, but if you want it to be more blurry, change it to displace. If you wanna clean a map, set it to details. Cracks makes things foggy, and funky inverts it. If you're not quite happy with any of the presets, feel free to mess with the knobs. You can always click a preset if you mess up. The more final grain, the more grayed out the colors get. Contrast makes the lights lighter and the darks darker. And if you bring it down, it reverses the black and white. Final bias controls whether the map is more dark or more light. Now, occasionally, you'll have an image like this where the white areas should be deeper back than the colored areas. There's two ways to solve this. The first way is to simply invert the contrast. Most of the time, this will look totally fine. But if you want to do this professionally, click the color sample, pick color, and then click the color that's going the wrong way. In our case, it's white. Then click Isolate Mask. From here, the goal is to mess with these knobs until the areas you want to control are white and everything else is black. Now, we want the areas we've selected to be deeper back, so turn the height down. When you're done, turn off the isolation and turn Sample Blend all the way up. This mixes the original displacement with the isolation map you've just created. Congratulations, you're done. Hope that helps. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.